What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about For the Wolf by Hannah Witten. I have been really excited for this book. I have been following it for quite a while on Twitter. I'm a really big fan of this author. This is her debut and I gotta say I was completely blown away. This is a story that takes elements from Little Red Riding Hood. It takes elements from Beauty and the Beast. Like if you are a fan of books like Uprooted, Cruel Beauty, uh, Light, The Invisible life of Addie LaRue, like those kinds of stories, you are really going to enjoy this because the dark fantasy that it weaves, like the interesting storytelling just had me hooked and had me captivated like from start to finish. This is a very bloodthirsty horror type of tale. We have these two daughters, you know, one is the first daughter, she is destined for the throne. The second daughter is destined for the wolf. They're in this kingdom that is basically in, lives in fear of this wilderness, of this wilder wood that lives to the north of them and they have to sacrifice their second daughters to the wolf they don't ever know what happens she just goes into the woods and that's the end of it and they're hoping that you know none of the monsters will come back maybe she'll free the gods who knows and when we're introduced to red in this book she wants to go into this forest she feels like she is too dangerous to stay in the outside world she needs to be locked away into this forest which is obviously very different from the others who have gone before her her sister wants her to stay these others want her to stay but she feels like she she needs to go into this wood and I was really drawn to her because of that like she is a character that has very hard edges and I really loved that she was very unapologetically messy she's angry she doesn't act like your typical type of heroine and that was really fun to see and then when she steps into this forest this is a bloodthirsty forest these trees have teeth they will eat you alive it was so fascinating and she goes into this wood and everything is not at all what she was expecting the myths are all partly true but but not really. And then she meets the wolf and just like everything changes. I loved the emotion in this story. Like by the end of it, I was really feeling it. The end left me on such this weird note. Like that's why I say it reminds me of Addie LaRue because it was that same kind of feeling, that same like moving like honey, this like honey sweet story that felt very deeply and felt very, like there was so much emotion going into it. And by the end of it, I was just like, yes, I, I gotta know what's gonna happen. I need to know what's gonna become of these characters. And I'm very excited to say that this is going to be a duology and I'm really, really just like waiting with bated breath to see how things are gonna turn out in the end. I am giving this book an A minus and the minus is because you can tell in some areas that it is a debut novel. I would say that that comes through just with like certain little writing quirks. Like I am not a writer, so I am by no means somebody who like knows what they're talking about here. But there were a lot of like repetitive like turns of phrase or like repetitive sentences kind of here and there where that kind of I didn't notice it at first but as I kept going I started to notice it a little bit more and I also think the way that the information was doled out wasn't paced the best like it, it came to parts where I'm like am I just not picking up on something have we not learned this yet like what's going on I wish the pacing could have been just a little bit tighter when it came to that like maybe it was a little bit too long in that regard I'm not quite sure but regardless like this book is still a five stars I think it's a must read if you are like that monster husband the enemies to lovers even though they're not necessarily enemies but they're kind of supposed to be enemies you know what i mean that kind of dark enriching fairy tale like you're going to really enjoy this this has all of the elements that i am very much into and i'm really really excited to see where we're gonna go next so like i said i am giving for the wolf an a minus and just oh, I cannot wait for For the Throne. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe. Talk books with me every week. That is everything I got for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.